This is an animation showing spondylolisthesis correction using Medtronic's 3DX instrumentation. First, straight post screws are placed into the sacrum, and the deformity or reduction screws are placed into the L5 vertebral body. Uh, notice that there are cancellous threads in the vertebral body and cortical threads in the pedicle. That gives better grip on the screw, uh, so the screw won't loosen. Notice how the pivoting hinge on those reduction screws is oriented in the side-to-side -side direction. Uh, the uh, contoured rod with connectors is then dropped into place uh, using the nitinol screw extender that's uh, placed in the tip of the S1 screw. That can that then just be removed. And the, uh, the screws are locked onto S1, forming a stable base. The uh, unidirectional rod crimp and the, th and the quick threaded driver are then used uh, placed over the reduction post and the driver is then slowly turned right side and left side to pull that vertebral body back into position with S1 being stably and solidly held in position uh, that is the base to which L5 is pulled back once the correction has been achieved compression can be placed across the posterior column and those uh, top set screws are then locked into place that locks the construct together. Quick threaded drivers removed and the unidirectional rod crimps come off uh, quite easily from the post. The, uh, the uh, pop-off uh, tops of the set screws can then be removed uh, securing the rod on the screws very uh, very tightly. The excess length of the reduction posts are then removed a crosslink can be used if needed, and bone graft is applied. That's how you correct spondylolisthesis using 3DX.